This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edge Warface Attorney Investigations 2, everybody! This time I caught up Marty off screen, so we can just it's continue. It's been a week! So and now I'm not sick! So now we can just continue with the Inherited Turnabout Middle Part 1. Epic! We're cross examining the best, the artist that was <laughs> the first to discover the victim, so naturally he's the best suspect. Indeed, at first glance, this man seems suspicious. However. Objection! Objection. At first glance? Ugh! What's with that first all of a sudden? You! Aren't you trying to steal my spot as the star that shines best? Huh? W would that make me the best artist? Larry, don't make this any more confusing than it already is. <laughs> Mr. DeBest, continue your reasoning now. Stupid Larry. The poison gas was caused by normalium, a chemical found in paint. Oh, oh I forgot, I forgot about normalium and fortalium. Fata oh, no. Fatalium. Fatalium. Not Normal and fatal. Yeah. Yes, apparently normalium is used in many everyday products. Right, so the red paint is definitely suspicious. But it's also used in things other than paint, right? Hmm, I guess you have a point. Um, what do you think, Justine? That's right. Normalium is also used in detergent, for example. In other words, it might not have been paint that caused the gas. That's not true! Let me finish my reasoning! As he was carrying paint near the victim, he would have had the best chance. Even if paint is the cause of the poison gas, that does not mean he is guilty. Haha! <laughs> well then, if the paint is not the cause, that doesn't mean he's innocent either. Now he's just trying to sound clever. Mimicking what Mr. Edgeworth says won't make you look cool at all. Okay, please don't make my statements look bad. Now then, it's about time to wrap up my shiny logic. The paint along with being the first witness, that pretty much proves he's the culprit. Do you truly claim that Larry is the culprit based on just that? Huh? You got a problem with that? If you have a problem, then present evidence. Mr. Edgeworth, it looks like he really wants to, you to do that. Indeed, then I will do as he wishes and present evidence. It seems he doesn't pay much attention to what other people are saying. There is a clear contradiction in Mr. DeBest's logic. Why do you even bother making the phone call? <laughs> I'll finish this quickly. This was a waste of time. So I know what the contradiction is, I just don't know where to present the evidence. <laughs> Submit the evidence chemical as he was carrying the paint he would have had the best chance it's probably that one oh no it's i think it's this one because it's made by two things mm -hmm. you got it i mean you also knew so Mr. DeBest, your logic is more akin to a shooting star than a shining star. I just want to say one thing. Look at the background, how much detail, like, they I put know. in for this one specifically. Yep. I feel like a lot of times the backgrounds for the previous games, it's, it's like... Brown. <laughs> oh, it's brown. Or it's like, we're in a shrine. It's the same spot, though, on both sides. <laughs> right. <laughs> it shines the best like a shooting star, right? It may shine brightly for a brief moment, but then it burns itself out. The poison gas originated from inside the glass case of the Pisces sculpture. Exactly! So that's where the artist set off the gas, right? He used the normalium in his red paint. As your senior, let me give you one piece of advice. Listen to the explanations of others. The poison gas was caused by mixing both normalium and fatalium together. The normalium contained in the red paint is not enough by itself. Really? But I thought I heard that normalium caused the fatality. No! Don't tell me you just misheard the forensic report! D darn it! By the time Larry discovered the victim, the room was already filled with poison gas. It is time for you to realize how incapable you really are. Wow. Hey! What do you mean by incapable? You tried to use that word earlier and you still don't know what it means. He means to say you are lacking in ability. Incidentally, inculpable has a completely different meaning. I love how 
Justine is also just kind of bagging us up, yeah. like, bro, you, you an idiot. <laughs> Justine no. Here's the thing, Justine knows he's an idiot, but she, like, uses that to her advantage, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I get it! You're making fun of me again, aren't you? I am merely saying you were incapable in your investigation. Before you insult Sebastian, I still have some doubts about your own statement. Can we do both at the same time? What kind of doubts? For all we know, Mr. Artist could have simply entered the Autumn Palace at an earlier time. That's... Moreover, do you have evidence that the red paint is unrelated to the case? The most important thing now is not the red paint. The red normalium and white fatalium. Exactly how were these two substances mixed? I believe that is our main concern. Naturally. It was Sebastian's job to investigate that. Were it not for your inter interference, we would have found that out by now. I never intended to interfere. On the contrary, I'd like to cooperate. Don't tell me you're going to say you know the cause of the poison gas! How the poison gas started? I have something that may shed some light on this matter. Sebastian, do not fall for his bluff. Come now, it's fine, really. Let's hear what he comes up with. If you say so, Sebastian. Come on, show us! How did the poison gas start? My prosecutor's bad. Oh, no! <laughs> Can you see this piece of evidence? It has traces of the poison gas's origin. That's a problem if it does! <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, don't get too close to Mr. Edgeworth. His foolish logic will make you dizzy. I find it poisonous and even guilty. <laughs> He's actually backing away! <laughs> <laughs> he actually backed off! <laughs> Don't give up, Mr. Edgeworth! Keep using your poison tongue like you always do! A plus translation. I must have evidence that shows how the normalium and fatalium were mixed. Red normalium and white fatalium were mixed, huh? There's a weird pink splotch on the statue below, so that's where it started. Absolutely, that's where it started. <laughs> Surely you're not saying that this was the cause of the poison gas? Humph, <laughs> it seems even you've noticed it. Duh, it really stands out! Those red tears that Larry saw were undoubtedly normalium. Huh? Wait a second! If those were chemicals, does that mean a ghost set off the poison gas? Yes. We've established ghosts exist in that game. <laughs> yep, I don't have time to play along with him. The red tears of normalium could not have triggered the poison gas by itself. That red liquid was mixed inside the case to create the poison gas. What? Just where do you see evidence of the chemicals that were mixed? That can also be seen in this sketch. Here is the evidence. Show evidence that the two chemicals were mixed. Yeah, you found it real easily. It's super easy. A pink liquid can be seen flowing out from under the case of the Pisces sculpture. This is proof that the two chemicals were mixed. This is what I knew before <laughs> we started recording. Hold on a second! I still don't get it. Why? How does this show that the normalium and fatalium were mixed? Pink is made from white and red! He's stupid, you though. You don't! <laughs> Since we have a self-proclaimed artist here, I'll let him explain. Oh man, when Larry is going to prove how much of an idiot you are, that's bad. Let's hear it. Larry, you fancy yourself an artist, so you should know about mixing paint, right? What do you add to red to make pink? Don't take me for a fool, Edgy! Oh, you know I graduated from middle school! You add white to red to make pink! It's common knowledge! Well, technically there's rose pink, baby pink, and several others. That's enough. Now do you understand, Mr. DeBest? Ah! That's how it is! By mixing red normalium with white fatalium, you get a pink liquid. Yes, exactly. Took him long enough. It looks like Pepto-Bismol. Hmm, <laughs> someone just spilled Pepto-Bismol. What's the big All deal? over this statue! And then just didn't do anything about it. Hmm, I see. It looks like Mr. DeBest finally gets it. No, he doesn't. Prosecutor Edgeworth, you have merely presented one possibility. Do we really know that the, if the color was the result of the two chemicals mixed together? Furthermore, this sketch was drawn by the suspect. I cannot put much faith into it. I just painted what I saw! How could that be a lie? 
Mr. Artist, I did not permit you to speak. Ugh, so cold. But that's part of a charm. <laughs> He's wow. just hitting on her, basically. Yeah. Of course, I intend to bring the truth to light immediately. Actually, they might be the same age. Are they the same age? Larry is 26, and Justine is 26. One is clearly more mature one, than the other. <laughs> one graduated middle school, and the other one went to law school. To law, law school and is already a judge. Yep. Of course, I intend to bring the truth to light immediately. <laughs> Can you imagine anyone dating her? I I don't think she's in, at all interested in dating anyone. <laughs> I would not want to date someone like her. No, I just I I'd, no I'd go I'd go no more for problems. I'd go for more someone like Kate. <laughs> Who cooks? <laughs> she cooks, yeah. And she's like an actress, and she's rich. <laughs> oh, but she's 34. That's that's too old for me. Yeah, that's fine. Keep in mind, people, I'm 23 at the time right now. So, yeah. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I'm even younger. It would not be wise to jeopardize your position even further. Aren't you going to answer my question from before? How do you know that Mr. Artist did not enter the Autumn Palace? If you cannot prove this, there is no room for you to argue any further. Oh, well, that's not I true. I just spat all over myself. Hey! <laughs> couldn't we find that out if we talked to the victim, pal? The victim, Dame Gustavia, remains unconscious and in critical condition. Ah, uh, that's right. Well then, Sebastian, we'll be investigating the, crim the crime scene from now on. All of you, please vacate the premises. Oh boy, what's he gonna say? If you were to take a stand in court, you'd cause a lot of trouble for the presiding judge. Is there something you <laughs> would like to say, Mr. Artist? Hold your horses, Miss Cool Beauty! My name is Justine Courtney. Please don't address me by such a strange title. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> oh, you finally told me your name! Pleased to meet you, Justy. I'm Maurice Stoneham, but you can call me Maurice. Mr. Artist, please get to the point. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> I just remembered something that I haven't had a chance to say yet. When I first got to this room, it was locked, so I couldn't go in. I am literally giving him the same voice that I give Aladdin in my Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough. <laughs> That's fine! Aladdin's also kind of like Lord Jasmine, I really want him to just draw this painting for you. <laughs> but then that old dude just suddenly fell through the door. It would appear that the palace door- palace doors? It would appear that the palace rooms can be locked from the inside. But, just because you say it was so, does not mean the door was locked. Without proof, your statement holds no value. <laughs> well, why not let Uncle Ray prove it for you? What? After all, we can confirm the room was locked, too. Right, Miles? Yes, I remember as well. Hmm, the Winter Palace should be... Huh? It's locked up. That's odd. They've already opened the museum. Until the gas outbreak, no one could have entered this room. Perhaps the suspect entered the room with the victim during the gas outbreak. During? As you can see, this man did not inhale any of the gas. If you examine his belongings, you'll find he wasn't carrying a gas mask either. Is that so? Well, then I have no choice but to agree. That was easier than I expected after the last case. <laughs> anyway, I presume this clears up any suspicions surrounding Larry. It seems Mr. DeBest's logic was off once again. <laughs> Not exactly. I just didn't have enough information, that's all. Honestly. Therefore, my reasoning was just before it's time. He sure has a grand way of saying that things didn't work out for him. In that case, there is one more suspect who has yet to take the stand. Mr. Artist, you are free to go. Huh, but I wanted to talk to you a little more, Justy. She's like, here's my phone number, we'll talk later. <laughs> Overruled. Your cold demeanor leaves me mesmerized all the more. This other suspect is... A pharmacist by the name of Delicia Scones. It would have been difficult for this artist to obtain the Fatalium from Megatoxin X. But a pharmacist may have knowledge of how to do that. 
I'm fine with her being the <laughs> villain, honestly. Like, <laughs> the court will now take a ten minute recess. Sebastian, it would be best if we brought her in quickly. Best if we brought her in quickly? <laughs> Sounds good. Leave it to me. Hey, Flatfoot, keep up the investigation. Ugh, got it. Overruled. Don't tell me. Judge Courtney suspected her from the very beginning. So Mr. DeBest's logic wasn't any help at all. Judge and we could have gotten rid of 30 minutes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Judge Courtney. Just what is she thinking? Let me sit deep in thought. Oh, we're at a to, to be, con be continued. Well, groovy. I love that jingle. We're not saving. We're right not saving. Are you kidding me? We got stuff to do. We're only fifteen minutes in. All right. Are you? Are you? <laughs> I dropped something. Oh. April 2nd, 12.05 p.m., Zodiac Art Gallery, Autumn Palace. And that's when Justine puts gas ma gas in the room and then kills all of us all at once. <laughs> She's the master ride. She said it would be only a ten minute recess. These sure are taking a long, awfully long time. Ahem, sorry to keep you waiting. Prosecutor DeBest presents Mrs. Delicia Scones. She hasn't aged! No, she hasn't. <laughs> yes, you called, so here I am. It is I, Delicious Scones, the pharmacist who makes delicious drugs. <laughs> what? Don't what? introduce yourself like that. I'm sorry. What? Is this what they who mean makes by delicious they... drugs? This is like Dahlia. Like they're all very fond of their drugs. They're all very fond of their drugs. I forgot about that. But you can call me Miss Delicious. And you can call me Mr. De Bestest. Oi! Nice to meet you, Bessie. Bestie. <laughs> Bessie. Bessie. <laughs> you get to work with Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone straight to nicknames. Ah, uh, that boy reminds me of someone. <laughs> this is Miles Edgeworth. He's Gregory's son. Yes, sing. nice to meet you, Miles. Uh, Miley? <laughs> <laughs> Could you please not call me Miley? I do not go by the same Miley name Cyrus. as Hannah Montana. <laughs> Meeting Greggy's boy. I guess it's a sign that I'm getting old. How old is this woman? Oh, she's she mad. Sebastian, isn't there something you'd like to ask, Miss Pharmacist? Oh, uh, right, yeah. Uh, Miss Delicious, could you tell us the reason why you came to the gallery? Yes, I came to see the curator, Katie. I've been friends with her for 18 years, so I visit her quite often. Is it true, Miss Pharmacist, that you also assisted in the treatment of Mr. Gustavia? She hasn't aged at all. What if that's just like a rubber mask? <laughs> oh, it's like it's like Mrs. Jetson where she puts on her morning mask. What? Do you not remember that? No. No, okay, there's like a few episodes where it's like, oh my gosh, my friend's calling me first thing in the morning, but I look awful. And it's literally just like a mask that like puts on her hair and her makeup and stuff for her. Oh, and she's wow. like, hi! It looks like that. It could look like that. Her face looks so more so much more fake than like every other she looks like the female version of the big boy mascot she really does <laughs> so that's part of the problem that's why I, originally i was like going to give her a voice like cake please or whatever <laughs> fat, from, like, princess. fat princess but then you were like then eh. you're like she's the anime girl but she's also british but she also says french words <laughs> yes and this is america america did you read that already yeah i did okay I guess you could say that, although I only made the antidote for the doctor. Wow, you made the antidote on the spot? Yes, as long as I have the right ingredients, I can make any drug easily. <laughs> I'd like to speak to you after no. I'd like to- <laughs> Can you write a prescription for me? I have- I have Really bad acne. I have such bad acne. The infirmary here is well equipped, you see. Instead of sending him to the hospital in critical condition, we treated him right away. I did all I could do. The rest depends upon the body's ability to recover. Do you know the victim, Miss Delicious? Yes, see. Although it's been 18 years since I last saw him. I only knew that he had become a world-famous pastry chef. Eh? Is the victim that famous? I heard on the news that he had won a competition for designing desserts. Oh, and he said that design was his weak point in the past, so maybe he worked on it. He that. worked on it! <laughs> He's a type A. He's a type A. He's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm do gonna better. I'm gonna do this. 
Because awesome. he's like, he made like the seahorse. He's like, that's supposed to be a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. I do remember about him mentioning something about studying design in Zane Fa. Everyone studies everything in Zane Fa. People go there for politics. People <laughs> go there to sell their stupid, gigantic statues. People go there to sell art. <laughs> people and, go there to flip off America. <laughs> and people go there to flip off America. People um, go there to sleep after flying for like 18 plus hours. Yep. Pretty now, much all of that was from the second case of the. No, let's get down right. Let's get down to business, Mr. To Thomasist. defeat the Huns. <laughs> Are you familiar with the drug Megatoxin X? Yes, it, it's the drug that we use. That, that, that we used. <laughs> <laughs> it's the drug we used to kill him. <laughs> it's the drug that's used to kill those things. It's mega effective. It's super effective. Because the effects are so potent, it's not available to the general public. What are those things you're referring to? Bugs. It's a drug for, vanqu for vanquishing the creatures that strike fear to the heart of a lady. The, the ones that often infest kitchens and the like. Ah, uh, I think I know what she's talking about. So, Miss Pharmacist, may I ask you one more thing? Do you know what happens when you mix Normalium with Fatalium? Yes, see, I know. It's even written on the warning label for Megatoxin X. Hazardous when mixed. When the two drugs are mixed together, a chemical reaction occurs and a gas is released. Inhaling a large amount of this gas can cause breathing difficulties and even death. From the amount of poison gas Gusty breathed in, I think there was probably at least 500 militaries in Milliliters. Each. That's not spelled right. Milliliters? I think, I think it can be spelled both ways, depending With on if you're British or not. Milliliters. Milliliters. Of each chemical in the gas. As expected of a pharmacist, she's very well informed. Normalium's an adhesive liquid that becomes hot as soon as the heat is applied. Oh, it's kind of like, um... Um... What is that chemical? <laughs> what, what do you use to make soap? Uh. It's, um... It's a specific thing that you shouldn't get it on your skin. It's not acid. It's not bleach. Are you... No, it's not bleach. It's, um... Does it start with an S or does it start with an L? I don't know. La lead? No. <laughs> lead soap. Lead soap. <laughs> no, it's, um... It's something specific where you need... If you ever work with it in chemistry, you have to put gloves on, you have to wear long sleeves, you can't breathe in the gases. Hydrochloric acid? It's not hydrochloric acid. It's like I don't know. I only took one trimester name, of chemistry and in my I life. can't. And you use it to make soap, and now I can't think of it. But anyway, it's like exactly like that. Okay. It also has a red color and a minty fragrance. Due to its low cost, it's used everywhere. Fatalium is a white, watery liquid. And that's enough for now. As expected of a pharmacist, you are very knowledgeable. Yesy. Of course I am. Megatoxin X is one of the chemicals that the company I work for produces. Uh, uh, but not just anyone has access to it. It's so potent as a poison that it couldn't be sold to the public after all. Thank you. I think that's all I needed to hear. Does Judge Courtney suspect her? What is she hiding behind that smile? She always smiles that smile. <laughs> oh, Flatfoot, have you made progress in the investigation or something? Yeah, let me tell you. L Lloris is still <laughs> trying. Just forgive me, I'm conducting an orchestra right now. <laughs> no, he's got the Wind Waker in hand, actually. Yeah, that's a he's baton. Like, right, but he's got the Wind Waker, so he's like trying to make the wind suddenly blow. <laughs> <laughs> yay! Yay! Pow! Pow! Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> the glass cases that contain the sculptures can be opened by a mechanism in the lid. Hmm, <laughs> what strange cases. The temperature in the cases can be lowered down to 0 degrees Fahrenheit. The inside of the Pisces case was set to 27 degrees Fahrenheit, so my hand nearly got stuck to the ice. Good thing it didn't. So then... Was there a, a palace that we didn't enter? We haven't been to the spring or summer palaces. I, what I want to see is we walk into, like, summer, and it's been set to, like, below freezing, and then someone's, like, locked in there and died. Oh, is that... Frozen what... to death. Oh. I want to see... Not that I want to see that, but... That would take that... a long time if it was only that cold. <laughs> From the lid of the Pisces case, 
We detected slight traces of normalium. <laughs> eh? Not bad. Duh. If the normalium was in a glass case at a temperature of 27 degrees Fahrenheit, then it would have been frozen to the lid. Eh? Really? So, what happened? Mr. DeBest, why don't we try borrowing the power of Kay's little thief? I think the circumstances will be easier to understand if we use our Mr. Thief. Humph! <laughs> so you really want to help me out that much? Fine! I'm not really sure how all this works, but... You! Get on with it! I hate being bossed around by this guy, but to arrive at the truth, I'll do it! I... Stop acting as you please! The Goddess of Law has no need of your power! <laughs> Don't be such a stick in the mud, Courtney Pie. We have approval of the prosecutor in charge, so what's the problem? Could it be there's something the PIC doesn't want us to find out? That's none of your concern. <laughs> Not a no! <laughs> Just a that. That's none of your concern. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. This is not happening. She's just like doing Jedi mind tricks with her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the twist. I want to go home and rethink my life. If you insist on participating in the investigation, then let me check if you're qualified by asking you a question. What is she planning? What is Bowser looking for in the Steam Gardens? <laughs> <laughs> I forget. I forget. Oh, the bouquet. The bouquet. You're not. You're not ready <laughs> to investigate here. <laughs> what? Who set off the poison gas? If you can answer me that, I'll allow you to work with us. This is not. What? We don't technically know. Well then, Miles, the person who opened the Pisces case and set off the gas. When you think about the circumstances, there's only one person it could have been. Yes, considering the circumstances, it's clear who it was. You just say, it was us. <laughs> so, please give me your answer. Who set off the poison gas? It's pretty obvious. Who? Um, it would be, I mean, if hey, it's man. locked, it burned only on the inside. It would have to be the chef man, right? Chef man. He's the only one who could have sent it off. There was no one in the Autumn Palace other than the victim, Dane Gustavia. It's hard to believe it could have been anyone but him. It seems that way. Very well. I'll allow you to participate this time. However, if I feel you are a hindrance, I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. But what I don't understand is why the victim opened that case. He so, just he just wanted to lick it. <laughs> it's like the He's like, you, I remember these were made of sherbet in the past. Maybe it's still sherbet. <laughs> it's like when you um are you lick a metal pole in the winter and your tongue gets stuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrible. So, Mr. Edgeworth, what shall I recreate? I forgot we used Little Thief in this case. I'm happy we do. Based on the information we've gathered so far, let's recreate the scene before the gas. Got it! Justine's like, this is normal. <laughs> Wah! D don't scare me like that! So, this is the true power of Sir Thief. Delisha's like, this is not weird. This is not weird. <laughs> Delisha's, Delisha defies time. That's true. I, I, my guess, she's like Noe of this game. She's like a thousand years old, but she just looks like the female version of <laughs> the big She's Pocahontas' boy. grandma, who's a tree for some reason. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's, it's not her mom. It's her grandma. It's her grandma. That's what I said. Oh, okay. I thought you said it was her mom. Like, <laughs> Pocahontas' mom was a tree. Her dad's Pohatan. He's a human. <laughs> and then there's, um... Kokoam. Kokoam, the best man. The perfect man. man. Perfect man. <laughs> Should I marry Kokoam? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Who yeah. wouldn't want to marry Kokoam? It's Kokoam. He's the best. That's that's yeah. a video I should actually make. It's just like... Kokoam is the perfect man. Per Kokoam's the perfect man. Although I already made a William's the perfect man. William is the man. William is the man. And then I will... Have to make <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Let's investigate the Pisces <laughs> sculpture post haste. <laughs> There's frozen normalium on the side of the Pisces sculpture's glass case. It's frozen so thick you can't even open the lid. On the actual glass case, the lid was heavily cracked. It was like someone had it out for the Pisces sculpture, sir. Do you have any idea how it came to be cracked like this? Hmm. 
Well, the damage didn't seem to have come from outside of the glass case, sir. I see. So the inside of the case was below freezing point, and the case had developed cracks. There are no signs of external damage. From this we can deduce... Below freezing? Like Mr. Edgeworth's cold stare. And cracked? Like Mr. Edgeworth's furrowed brow. Thermal fracturing! The, cor the cold glass case was heated from the outside, causing it to crack. Jeremy Duncan just poured boiling water on it to melt. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna clean off the windshield this way. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> I forgot about Why that. Why are you comment. looking at me? Look at an idiot. idiot. Like, oh. Hmm, but why did thermal fracturing occur here and what caused it? Hmm. Inside the thermally fractured glass case, there was frozen normalium. Oh, that face means you've probably thought of something, not Miles. Indeed I have. I know how Mr. Gustavia was able to open the glass case. What? How can you possibly know something that I don't? Well, um... well, I know that red and white make pink and you didn't, so... I'd say the things he does know are in the minority. Hey, aren't you going to let me know? How did Dan Gustavia open the glass case? He broke it. I don't know. Um, what what are our options? We got the prosecutor's badge. No. Nope. We got the IS7 nope. incident file. We got the art gallery pamphlet. <laughs> and breaks it with that. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Winter Palace photo. We got the Pisces sketch. We've got the used gas burner. <laughs> we've got the fluorescent cloth, and we've got poison gas. It's probably the used glass burner. This gas burner that was found in the Autumn Palace shows signs of recent use. I believe this was the cause of the thermal fracturing in the Pisces statue's glass case. Why is he in there in the first place? He's like, Wait, I gotta... hate Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I want to know is why. Like, forget the fact that this happened because obviously this happened. What made someone go in and say, "I've got my glass burner or gas. my gas burner. I've got my pamphlet. I'm ready to go." <laughs> I use the spy heat. heat. <laughs> oh my god. Which is basically a gas burner. It is. A gas burner? Why would he use something like that? Ah! I got it! The lid was frozen shut, so we had to use a burner to melt the ice. Indeed, that is correct. Ugh, I just had a late start. I I'm still the best, you know. Late start? You didn't even understand a single thing, did you? Well, that's just because Mr. Edgeworth's explanation was too hard to follow. I followed it. I'm 19. Okay, he's 17. Okay, well, I at 17, I was playing I, these, I, so... I, I think he's 17. Is he 17? He's 17. Young and sweet. Okay, why don't you update the little thief so that he can understand it? If you say so. Right, let's restart the recreation. I still miss the old Little Thief music. The victim, Dane Gustavia, was the only one to enter the Autumn Palace. If he used the gas burner then... He used magic dust. The normalium in the glass case would have melted. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then... The melted normalium would have come into contact with the fatalium inside the case. Gas explosion! And produce the poison gas. Gas chamber! The moment Mr. Gustavia opened the lid, he would have begun to inhale the gas. He managed to drag himself out to the fountain patio just before his strength ran out. Which is amazing, by the way. He's buff. Yeah, he's buff. That doesn't mean, like... Oh, was that literally it for Little Thief? That might have been. Two. <laughs> so he inhaled the gas when he opened the lid... It seems he finally understands. Like, we didn't need to do that. We did not need to do that at all. <laughs> but why did Mr. Gustavia open the glass case of the Pisces sculpture? The victim's goal. That I do not know yet know. Perhaps he had the same reason as Uncle Ray. Maybe he actually came to see the Winter Palace, not the Autumn one. Uncle Ray also thought that this was the Winter Palace at first. Oi! You too, Ray Ray! Actually, I thought so, too. It looks just like Icy's room from 18 years ago. It even got the exact same plants in front of the door. Seems everyone involved with the IS-7 incident made the same mistake. 
It is imperative that we investigate the real Winter Palace immediately. I should suggest that to Mr. DeBest. He's but, like, but, oh, I've got it! But make it feel like, he, make him think it's his idea. Ooh, that's like how when we would try and get you to watch a movie. Or, like, read a no. book. Yes. No. Yes. No. That is exactly what me and Link would have to do. We'd be like, if you want to get Artie into, like, a book series, you have to, like, be reading it. Casually put the book aside. And not, like, mention it to you, but then you'll pick it up of your own accord. Like, there's, like, a whole if thing. If so, that's not your idea. Yeah, but when we would try and be like, oh my gosh, you have to read this, you'd be like, no. Which makes sense, because now I'm kind of that way with books. But well, It's like the equivalent of someone like, oh, you're going to love this YouTube video. Chances are I won't just because you're hyping it up so much. That's true, but... I get it now. Yeah, that's how it was. Huh? Did you think of something? The victim committed suicide. He thought he would look refined if he died in an art gallery. No! <laughs> that is not it! Have you even been listening? Well, if you're as smart as me, just hearing half of the story will be enough. Sebastian, I'll explain it from the top later. Top? That means best, right? Alright, I'll leave it to you. Oh my gosh. Yes, he would indeed- it would indeed be best to let Judge Courtney handle him. And Judge Courtney's like, you're an idiot, Sebastian. This is what actually happened! That aside, don't you have some information to inform everyone of? Ah! I totally forgot! What are you talking about? <laughs> we did a little checking of that pharmacist. We, meaning me, the best prosecutors, subordinate. That's not something to brag about! So, shut up, you! Quiet down and listen! Suicide is, um, off the table for now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's because, um, in short... This is like me when I'm trying to figure out a murder mystery. <laughs> that pharmacist is the culprit. She set up the gas as a trap. Eh? No! It is a terrible shame, Miss Pharmacist. How could one of the profession of saving lives stoop to extinguishing them? Huh? What, what are you saying? I would never do such a thing! Mr. DeBest, do you have a basis for these accusations? <laughs> of course! This is my basis! My <laughs> driver's license! <laughs> a pharmacist's license! It would permit her to handle Menagotoxin X, right? And its active ingredient, Fatalium, was one of the components in the poison gas. Exactly! <laughs> that chemical is almost impossible for ordinary people to obtain. What probably ended up happening if she didn't do it was she said she was in cahoots with um the clumsy one. The girl that sings. You mean Kate? Cat? Kate? Cat? Cat? Catherine? Catherine? She's yes. not clumsy. Okay, whatever. The French girl. I'm mixing her up with um Ring Pop. Ring Lauren Pop Pops? Wedding. <laughs> I was, I was Ring really... <laughs> Pop Wedding Girl. <laughs> I'm mixing her up with her. Anyway. She Kate. wasn't clumsy either. Anyway, Kate. They, she, they said they were really good friends for 18 years. Maybe... You're mixing her up with Sumia. <laughs> maybe that's it. No, maybe what's actually happening was Kate was like, yo, you're a pharmacist, right? Like, can you get me this prescription that no one will assign to me? Why do you need to kill rats that hard? <laughs> or, or just like, I don't know, maybe it's like... Maybe Megatoxin X could be used for something else that she oh. needs to use. And so, like, they had a deal going on for 18 years, like, oh, I'll bring it to her. So she brought it, and then you in reality, she was going... it. <laughs> no! And then at that point, maybe, like, that's when, like, she snaps. And she's like, I have megatoxinics. I'm gonna kill people. Otherwise, it's, wow. it's totally her. Otherwise, it's totally Delicia. Yeah. Delicia's, <laughs> e Delicia's either in cahoots with someone, hooking them up with megatoxin X illegally... Or she killed the guy since, in the past. Since she was talking about drugs, she was like, I make drugs. I'm like, mm -hmm. Do you, though? <laughs> That's weird. But that pharmacist is another story altogether. It, it wasn't me. You've got it all wrong. And that's not all. A bottle of Megatoxin X was found in the victim's pocket. Oh, well, that also happened to Maggie Bird. And on the bottle, we found clear fingerprints. Yours. <laughs> You and the curator took the victim to the infirmary, right? That would have given you the perfect opportunity to plant the bottle on him. Th th that's... 
You are the only pharmacist on the premises who could have handled Megatoxin X. Furthermore, as for the curator of this art gallery, you're an acquaintance of hers. You would have access to the gallery at any time in order to prepare the poison gas trap. But please wait. Th that Megatoxin X, it, it was stolen. She's like, really? Trying to lie your way out of this won't go well with me. It's true! Look, I've got the proof right here in my bag. What is she searching for? Not this. Not this either. Hmm. I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Ah, here. Please take a look at this. Hmm. It's some sort of paper. What's it say? April 1st. Theft report accepted. Stolen item, Megatoxin X. This is a theft report acceptance certificate. What? What? Wait, does that mean they allowed them to steal? No, it's like she oh. had to report, like, hey, I was carrying this and then drug. It got stolen. Someone stole it. That's a problem. And <laughs> she just wrote her own report, like, <laughs> somebody stole it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, see, truth is, one week ago, my Megatoxin X was stolen. One week ago? That means you didn't have it with you today. Yes, that bottle you just found is probably the one that was stolen from me. I normally carry that body- uh, that body? <laughs> I normally carry the body in my purse. It's big. <laughs> Purses have no bottoms, you know. Like cargo short pants. Yep. I normally carry that bottle of Megatoxin X in my bag at all times. Even though I often forget to keep it locked up. I would never even think about mixing it with normal allium. But, why in the world would you carry such a dangerous substance on your person? Just in case, you know, rat poison. <laughs> yep. Well, you never know when those things will appear. Those... Those... Those creatures that infest the kitchen, striking fear into the heart of a lady, right? Although if you had rolled up newspaper, you could just squash them with one blow. Justine, what do we do now? Well then... Can we really accept this theft report? Let's ask for confirmation. That should clearly tell us what whether or not she's lying. Right! Uh, well then, I'll just call and confirm it. For like, somebody wrote- He calls the pizza guy again. It looks like Miss Delicious isn't the culprit. Indeed. If she really did set up the poison gas as a trap, I don't believe she would do it in the way that incriminates her the most. So Miles, who do you think is the culprit? Predicting the actions of the victim would require a fair amount of advanced planning. And there's only one person here capable of that. Huh? huh? Uncle Ray would like to know, too. Who do you suspect? Uncle Ray. <laughs> no. The one who stole the Megatoxin X and prepared the room in advance was... You thought it was Kate? Yes. It had to be the curator of the Zodiac Art I'm Gallery. Right. Miss Catherine Hall. However, I still don't have any evidence that she is the criminal yet. I see. That wouldn't surprise me, though. She is. The way he said that just now sounded like he had been expecting it. Hmm. Good job, Miles. As expected from Uncle Ray's future apprentice. I have no intention of becoming your apprentice. And I will now announce the results of my verification. What? I can confirm that her theft report was indeed accepted. Therefore, it's a little too early to come to a decision. <laughs> that means your logic was completely faulty. Nah, y you're wrong! My real performance is still to come. Really? And how do you plan to proceed with your investigation? Th that's... First, we need to speak with the curator. And after that... Uh, we we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Me? Sebastian! She's hiding behind her mallet. <laughs> Mr. Gustavia may have had business in the Winter Palace. I believe we should send an investigator there as well. Oh, that's good too! Detective Gumshoe, investigate the Winter Palace at once. Ugh, got it, sir. Justine, let's go talk to the curator. Yes, let us proceed. We should go and listen to what Miss Hall has to say as well. Will we continue? No. <laughs> we just had one, like... 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago. April 2nd, 1.45pm, Zodiac Art Gallery, Thought and Found Patio. Alright, I want you guys to listen to what the curator has to say. Mr. DeBest, weren't you going to go and talk to her yourself? 
No, that's a job for my subordinates. All I have to do is wait for their report. I'm the best prosecutor after all. Such arrogance. Well, this is anticlimactic. I'm gonna chill for a bit. Huh? What's that in the fountain? <laughs> ah! I don't know what it is. Oh! 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 Okay! Ah! The, uh, okay. There's a dead body in the fountain! I, I didn't think there was gonna be something what? crazy like that. What is the meaning of this? Who was outside of the fountain? Oh. Uh. Silence, everyone! Forensics! Identify this body at once! It's terrible, pal! Please be quiet, detective! The ice sculptures in the Winter Palace! They've all melted, pal! What? 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 Forget that! Like, dead person! Also, who's the person dead? What's going on here? There are two victims now. This is all. Just like 18 years ago. Once again, the ice sculptures have melted. Again? And everyone related to the incident 18 years ago is gathered here now. This is no mere coincidence. Don't you think so, Miles? What, did someone from 18 years ago just be like, Go! Throw the river! You <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> kicking them into the, into the river? <laughs> into the fountain? Yes. The key to finding the truth of this case lies in the IS-7 incident. I thought we incident. were gonna find, like, a key in the fountain. Not a dead body! <laughs> no, we found a dead body. This is what I believe. <laughs> That's right. Uncle Ray thinks so, too. Looks like it's time once again for Uncle Ray to tell you about the IS-7 incident. Now it's time while there's a dead body in the fountain. See? There is a- What I the told heck? You, there must have been- Two in one recording session. Da -da -da -da. I told you this case has like five middle. It. 